We're back with more episodes of the wonderful, the spectacular Dragon Ball Z series movies. I'm back here with my buddy, the streamer, the gamer, the master of all. I'm back with Ianthus. What's Yo. up, Ianthus? Yo, how you doing? <laughs> so we're back again with more Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball is exploding, and we're reviewing one of the great movies of the Dragon Ball series. And who is the creator of Dragon Ball again? Akira Toriyama. And I keep screwing up your name, sir. I'm so sorry, but apparently my Japanese skills leave me when I try to say your name particularly. Which movie did we uh, we're reviewing today? Tree of Might. Tree of Might. The third movie the in third the Dragon Ball Z series. Yes. We skipped Dragon Ball, went into Dragon Ball Z, we'll touch GT, Super, and all the other wonders later. And we can always loop back and get the Dragon exactly. Ball movies. Exactly. But again, we're trying to figure out, are they canon? Are they even close to being non-canon? Are what, they good? Are they good? And the answer to this question, and this one is, um... Sort of? Yeah, maybe, possibly. Because this movie makes zero sense. There is no connection to any of the timelines because apparently it takes place after the Saiyans arrive and are defeated. But before they go to Namek. Possibly before, or some people theorize, after Namek. Which doesn't fit at all. It doesn't fit anywhere, but it fits better after the Saiyans, before Namek, because there's no Super Saiyan in this no. movie. Um, everyone that was trained by King Kai got their asses handed to them, basically. They're way weaker than they should be if it's post-Namek, so I'm gonna stick with this being pre-Namek, but even After then, Saiyans. Goku should be in the hospital. It, yes. <laughs> Piccolo should be dead. Yamcha should be dead. Tien and Tien 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 dead. Everyone should be... The Dragon Ball shouldn't work. Unless this whole movie takes place in HFIL, this is not canon. Or, you know, we have um, our, our cameraman Ace has a theory that it's part of the Xenoverse saga. Which is wrong, so that's okay. <laughs> Anyway, so as we actually open up the whole series and the movie itself, um, Bulma, uh, Krillin, and um, basically the crew, U Oolong and uh, Gohan are camping in the woods, and there is a massive fire where it's destroying all of the woods and nature and everything. And they somehow use their you know training in martial arts to blow away the fire. Instead of blowing it up, they just blow it away with their energy, which was kind of cool because- It was kind of cool, but I'm thinking they're just vaporizing squirrels over here, just blah, oops. <laughs> it's like a Disney movie gone horribly wrong. <sighs> So they decide after they stop the fire, well, now the animals have no place to live. Let's use the Dragon Balls to save this forest, which oh. will circle back to how great an idea that was in a little bit. Also, I want to touch base on this. This is actually supposedly the first time we get to meet my favorite character. Ianthus has his moments about it. I love Icarus. He's a giant pudgy little dragon and he's adorable. A fat waste of screen time. Oh. Sorry. So this is the first time we meet Icarus because the only other time he makes an appearance is in episode 106, which is way, way later. later. That's post Frieza. That's post Frieza. So that's post. I think Cell almost. That's a that's a that's way into the series. 106. And on that note, Gohan can't even fly in this movie. Well, he, he flies on the back. He he floated actually for a little bit when he went to go stop because Icarus. Uh, because Gohan saved him, Icarus got so mad when they saw Shenron pop up, Icarus went to go fight Shenron, which imagine a dragon who's about as tall as I am, six feet, going to fight Shenron. Shenron I think he was saying Shenron was the tallest dude, I'm like, alright. So Shenron actually waved one of his tentacles off his face, his little whiskers, and was gonna smack Icarus to the ground and go and float into the air like, no, no, stop, stop, stop. That's true, you, so they were inconsistent again. again. Good job. But anyway, back fun. to the point no, of the movie. I want to see Shenron smack your Chris. been great. The only time he ever attacks anybody. That was your favorite character? You want to see him get whooped? Yeah. Um, there's something Some wrong with Goliath. Sadist. Don't know what it is. Anyway. <laughs> so, so, big old uh, Saiyan crew comes in. They detect, because that fire was started because there was a probe sent yeah, to it, Earth it, it hit by the this little Saiyan crew. And ignited. But here's a reference I think. When I saw the thing, I thought Johnny Quest. Because if anybody here watches Johnny Quest, I know I'm old. There's a little eyeball that flew around, walks around and I'm like, Johnny it's Quest. It's a spider thing. It it's looks like, like a spider it eyeball It looks like robot. Johnny Quest. So, um, <laughs> It um, basically tells them that the planet is full of life, full of inhabitants, full of nutrients for the Tree of Might. And these Saiyans aren't your normal team of Saiyans. I mean, we, we'll have a picture showing up, but they don't look anything like any of the Frieza Force members at all. Well, with the exception of the leader. Except for the leader, but yeah. I guess they're supposed to be like a rogue group of, uh, of Saiyans or something. Um, yeah. But they don't seem to be following any particular mission. They seem to be off on their own kind of Which thing. makes sense. If it's after the Frieza saga, they're trying to avenge Frieza. But if it's before Frieza, these are just guys that, you know... Why would they avenge Frieza? They were slaves. 
<laughs> well, you know. Anyway, <laughs> so this is the perfect planet for the tree. So they decide to plant the tree of might, which is designed to grow fruits for Shenron. Oh yes, yes. To King Kai. King Kai, um, and Goku. I have to tell you something very important. The tree of might is on Earth. Be like, why do I care? Well, the fruit from the tree is meant for Shenron. Wait, question. Why wasn't the seed on Earth then? And Shenron lives in a ball. Again, a theory from GT Universe. Uh, the dragons live in a separate time space as us. It's a theory that's flowing around the net that the dragons, Omega, Shenron, Purunga, all the Black Star Dragon Balls, they all live in a different time and space than us. More alternate universe stuff. Uh, super Kind GT. of a convenient way to explain anything in any anime that doesn't make sense. Oh, that's in a different <laughs> time, time <laughs> universe place thing. But it could be great, a planet full of dragons? Come on, Omega's just sitting there going, wow, I got my ass kicked. Damn. <laughs> Anywho, so this tree is supposed to suck all the life out of the planet to develop these fruits, which when eaten will multiply your power by 10 times their normal ability, which means permanently, you right? go from, yeah, permanent from 30 to 300,000 real quick. So if Piccolo ate one, damn. Yeah, angular Piccolo in this. I'm so used to <laughs> Super now. He looks so sleek, but in this movie, he looks like he was very pointy. Yeah. Very, very pointy. We call Sharp him point Piccolo. Pointy Piccolo. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, Turles, as it turns out, the villain is. Well, Turles is the villain, and me and Ianthus have arguments about this, and the whole the whole planet and the internet has arguments about this. Uh, the Saiyan group that he is in charge of, they look nothing like. A few of them look like they could be possibly Saiyan, except for Goop Man. Uh, Goop Man, yeah, uh, Melt Man with the power to melt. <laughs> but it sounds like somebody from the. Do you remember the Impossibles? Yes. Anyway, different. <laughs> cool. So back um, on track. So Turles comes to Earth with his group, and I I have this argument. He's related to Goku. I don't care what you say, Not I don't care all. what you people say. He looks like Goku. He sounds... Goku's from a low-class oh. Saiyan family. He could be an uncle, a cousin, a distant relative, but the hair is distinctly of the, the same Goku species, family. maybe, but no, that's but it. But only, okay, in all the Z movies and even the new Broly movie, only one group of family have that hairstyle, and it's Bardock's family. Anyway, so besides him being wrong there. Ah! Internet, tell him he's wrong. Come on, side with me. You love me. You know you do. <laughs> so the tree is planted. The whole planet starts getting ripped apart. People are freaking out. And you think by now on this planet, they're used to this crap. Giant dragon showing up. Yep. People dying. Cities, amusement Cities. parks, Ferris uh, wheels that oh. say DBZ. <laughs> DBZ, yes. And, you know, I gotta say the response time, because the movie is only about, what, an hour long? Yeah, if even. And yeah. even if this was, like, let's say a, a full day in their universe, they had relief shelters set up. They yeah. had, like, hospice and Red Cross. They're ready. I was like, you know what, man? Just saying, when some storms hit our country and stuff like that across the world, it takes weeks to get stuff done. In their universe, done, we're ready. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Well, hey, at least they used the Dragon Balls to save the forest. Oh, the forest, yeah, you know, an hour Of course, early. now cities, towns, like, the whole planet's just wrecked. But animals uh, are dying. Yeah, it's... animals are dying left and right. Bambi's mother. <laughs> yeah, I'm terrible. But I love all the voice actors. They did a really good job, uh, whether it be in the Japanese or the English. They did a really good job with the emphasis, the emotions. I do love the fact that one of the guys uh, sounds, what was his name, Raisin? Sounds like Stitch. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yes, I will defeat you with our great powers. <laughs> Dude, looks like a little purple Raisin. <laughs> And um, going back, so if these guys were, you know, beginner class of Saiyan levels, again, if this was after the Saiyan saga and somehow before Namek, but then everyone should be dead, yet again, it makes no sense. And it's after the Frieza saga, they should have beaten the crap out of these guys. No I mean, problem. we can tell at least Turles is definitely a higher class of Saiyan. Like, yeah. he's he's above Maybe not Raditz's the, level. He not might be, like, on Nappa's level, I like, think. Like, I think it goes, uh, uh, like, lower class warrior something elite and like you know vegeta's level like the royal well, family well he wouldn't be royal family i think he's like napa level like advanced soldier advanced so i think warrior class is a good one or like man, I'm not noble so, family supposedly the internet now theory is that his power level is between 29 and 35000 which is slightly believable because when goku fought uh, raditz his power level was around 2000 so not nearly not nearly enough but after training with king kai after all this coming back with the ko ken he was supposed to be around twenty thousand. so the believable fight is possible with those numbers um <clears throat> so as the story progresses we watch the tree destroy everything turles eats one of the fruits and supposedly you know Ooh, you're getting way ahead of yourself oh, okay so i'm skipping ahead okay because so. you got to remember that um that king kai Warn Goku, this tree is doing this. He says, not on my planet, you're not. So yeah, they, they go out to uh, to fight. And Chi-Chi says that Gohan doesn't oh, yeah. get to. 
Because why would you save the planet when they're studying? You're today? not going out to fight anybody. Oh, but mom. <laughs> so Gohan doesn't listen, as should be the case, Never and does. goes to fight him. Uh, Turles captures Gohan. Oh yeah, grabs makes, him. Makes a fake moon. Hold Thankfully, we watched the uncensored version because in the censored version, like. Turles is holding Gohan by the face, forcing his eyes open, like or depending on the person you're watching, flag. Gohan's just making a weird face at the sky. Uh, we'll, we'll, we should put a little clip in there for that. <laughs> but, uh, the censored one, probably. I think the, uh, yeah, it just looks the so internet bad. might get mad at us. So, <laughs> Gohan turns into his big Azara monkey form and oh. fights Goku oh, well, because he has no control over himself. But so. he's obeying Turles. He's obeying Turles, or at least makes, it huh? seems to be. So he's off on this big rampage until his dragon friend, your buddy Icarus, shows up. So to get this right, Gohan's off on a wild rampage. He's beating his crushing father, his dad his crushing hand. his dad, but his little dragon friend, aww. Yes. So this oh. means Gohan <laughs> likes this little dragon he met yesterday more than his father. Well, his dad is an enabler because Chi Chi said he couldn't keep the dragon, he wasn't allowed to have the dragon. So Goku makes him a little, finds a little cave, puts fruits and a bed in there, and it's like, you know what, your mom says he can't stay at the house, but this is a cave. So he can stay here. So Goku's the enabler and Chi Chi's the strict parent. Dad, mom said no. Okay. So because Gohan is now distracted by this dragon thing, Turles just decides, I'm gonna blow up the dragon and we're gonna get back to it. But you, you guys respect, Icarus is powerful because he took, he took he blast. that blast. He, he took that blast from Turles and was like, you know what, I'm a dragon bitch. So Gohan loses his Oh, he loses mind. his stuff. He, he goes and attacks Turles, which Turles says, oh, well, you're weak anyway, I don't need you. Makes his giant halo attack, launches it, and that was the fastest detransformation of a Saiyan I have ever seen in my because life. Because Goku uses the uh, Destructo Dest Disc, which like, is never used by him again. First time ever. Like, oh, I know, no, Frieza did that to himself, so yeah, it's like the That wasn't even the same attack, technically. Yeah, so it's like. But the, anyway, so Gohan shrinks back down, rapidly. and now it's Goku versus Turles. Turles is kicking Goku around like he's nothing and says, well, you know what, I'm gonna get even stronger, You're why powerful. not? Because that's great anime logic. I'm already stronger than you. I'm going to get even stronger. Eats one of the fruit. No, no, no. He doesn't eat. He takes a bite of one, of, like a little bite of the fruit, and then just bulks up like the Hulk, and then just starts progressively smacking Goku around from a bite. Just one bite. So Goku gets knocked down and then uses his telekinesis to Oh, listen. yes. Um, the telepathy effect. The DBZ universe is weird. They have this power. Sometimes he can hear everybody. Sometimes it's linked through King Kai. It's a weird menagerie of how, like, sometimes he can hear people and sometimes he can't. It's just all cockamamie. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Way. But in any case, so Goku goes up and just after after the rest of the Z fighters try oh, to yeah, fight they, off Terrace. Try to fight him. Instead, no one, instead of screaming at him, he, uh, you know, they could have, all five of them could have reached up, grabbed the plant, eaten it, and been like, hey, Goku, we're all stronger than you now. No, no, we're going to scream at Turles, get his attention, and be like, we're going to fight you. To give you an idea of how strong Turles is at this point, he completely deflects a spirit bomb. Oh, with Granted, me. the Earth was already weakened by the Tree of Might. But a small spirit but, bomb about yay big messed up Vegeta. I'm just saying, a little thing like that messed him up. But Goku decides he's going to go after the fruit. Smart move. <laughs> he absorbs the power <laughs> of the fruit. <laughs> and announces, I have the power of nature within me. So I guess Goku's vegan now. I always knew it. You know, one day he was just going to have the power within him. You know, we're not trying to insult people here, but that was just a beautiful... So beautiful unless I missed it, he didn't actually eat the fruit. He no, absorbed, absorbed it. the energy. <laughs> so now that he has the power of nature within him, one quick key blast, tree blows up, Turles blows up. No. That's the end of that. What was this whole <laughs> thing for? Oh, by the way, Turles' power level should be 300,000, so... According yeah. to random Google things. Random Google things. So the tree then magically implodes in on itself, and the planet gets encased in beautiful glowing aura energy, and everything's being brought back to life. Even Bambi's mom. Even Bambi's mom. We're just watching the dead deer, and all of a sudden it blinks like, Mother! Mother! mother. Your mother can't be with us anymore. Oh, okay, wait. Stop that. <laughs> Anyway, so that basically concludes the movie, and everything is all wrecked, oh, but it's okay now. No, Goku had a chance to eat one of the last remaining fruits. And fruit, it popped! And it popped! And he could put his mouth... Mm. Best pop rock ever. <laughs> so, that's basically the whole plot. Now, if you ask, what did we gain from this movie? Nothing. Well... What was the reason for this got, movie? We got, Nothing. We got to see some cool different Saiyan armor. Like, the one guy that had the spikes it's on It's just it. different colored of the same thing. <laughs> we really, honestly... 
got nothing from this movie, I'll admit. Like, it, there's no timeline, it doesn't add up. Unless you play the Xenoverse video games, nothing adds up here. So basically the whole point of this movie is basically Goku is Captain Planet, so... <laughs> Yes, that is very true by all your power. Oh my god, wait a second. He is. Because there was Yamcha, Tien, Chiaotzu, Piccolo, and Krillin. Earth, fire, wind, water, and Krillin's heart. Because Krillin... Because <laughs> Krillin just gets janked everywhere. And by anyway. powers combined, I am vegan Goku. I'm sorry, vegans. We don't mean any offense. No. <laughs> um, if you went Super Saiyan Green, that would have been great. So, is it canon? Not even close. I, Can't no. even come close to fitting. Canon. Is it a good movie? Mm. I'm gonna say of the three we've watched so far, it's the weakest. It's the weakest. Honestly, I'll give it, honestly, I'll give it a C because I love watching them come together as a team and use abilities that they never bring up again. C is fair. It's fun to watch, yeah. but you're not gonna gain anything from it. Um, watch the first two and then keep on watching our series to find out which other ones you should exactly. watch. Exactly. <laughs> so, canon, no way. Timeline, no way. Xenoverse, maybe. But, you know, it's, it's a movie. It's part of the Dragon Ball franchise. You gotta respect it. So, as always, guys, we want to thank you for joining us. We're going to be watching the next one. What's the next one, Ianthus? The next one is... Lord Slug. Lord Slug, which, you know, that one's going to be fun, because, again, that one... Oh, <laughs> I don't have high hopes for that one. I, I, well, I remember the original VHS, so we're going to get yep. back to you guys with more intrigue, more awesomeness, more Goliath RRs. We're going to have so much more coming. We have uh, Hati singing, hopefully getting off the ground sooner than later. We have so much coming and so much going. Skull streaming. Skull streaming. We've got uh, Yanyel's pictures, which you guys always love because of all the cosplay photos we do. So thank you guys so much for joining us. We'll catch you next time. I have to send you anything else? Nope. That's it. Later, guys. Later.